as you've just seen, I am about to fly on Air Canada's Boeing 737-8 MAX. Hopefully it's going to be an okay flight, it's only a quick flight. It's a domestic flight from Vancouver over to Calgary. Apparently you get some amazing scenic views on this route, so stay tuned and see what the flight's like. Vancouver domestic terminal is really nice inside, some nice bits of artwork, pieces here, there and everywhere, really nice to see. Here we are just about to board the plane, nice smooth check in, it was really really quick. There's our 737 8 Max just waiting for us there, really do like the look of these planes, they're so nice. And then there's just another one crossing our path there, exactly the same plane, a 737 MAX 8 I'm sure. As I was stepping on the aircraft there was a pilot in front of me. Obviously these are new planes, really sleek inside the Air Canada's one, love all the trim and all the colours and this is our seat here right next to the window. Just look at the size of the queue we had behind us, so many planes there. It was a morning flight so that's why it was so busy, really really busy airport this. What aircraft can you see? Type them in the comments what you can see. And here we go, we're about to set off. Look at all the aircraft we're hitting, still can't believe how many there was in the queue. Again a really smooth takeoff out of Vancouver, really really nice scenery around here as well. Now taking a look around the aircraft, obviously they're really really modern aircraft so everything's basically brand new. I love the trim that Air Canada have used and I like the maple leaf sign there right at the back. I love the blue lines in the trim and on the headrests they adjust so you can get your head tucked in there really really comfortably. This was the seat I was in, 36F, really big screen to play around with, loads of different options on here as well. This is just a safety card for the Boeing 737-8 Max just your normal safety card, pretty basic to be honest. Just a quick video of the tray table, comes down really easily and smoothly and it slides back and forward towards you. Leg room wasn't too bad to be honest, I've had worse. And there I am all tucked up in my headrest. This seat did have limited recline but it reclined a tiny little bit obviously because I've got this wall behind me. Always love scrolling through the interactive flight maps. You get loads of different options on here and it was a really, really good system they used. Looks like it was called 3D Maps and you can take a look at literally everything on there about your flight and your route, etc. Just by pinching the screen you can zoom in and out and then you can see your flight map. As you can see, we fly over loads of mountains so the views are going to be absolutely amazing. Just another really cool addition, you can have a 3D view of your aircraft. You can look all around it which is really really cool. I love the winglets on the uh, 737 Maxes, it looks really cool. The flight wasn't actually full, there was quite a lot of spare seats. There was a bloke in front of me, he had three seats to himself, really lucky that to be honest. Again it's a really new plane so it's really really sleek and nice inside. Looking at the movies, the movies were exactly the same as a flight I previously took on the Air Canada's Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. This was only a short flight though so I didn't get a chance to actually watch any movies on this one. When you're eventually cruising in the air they'll come round and give you some Biscoff biscuits which is a really nice addition to be honest. And I think they give us a drink I can't remember, they might give you a water or a juice or something like that. Because it was only a short flight I opted to play some Angry Birds. I only got through around 8 or 9 levels because one of the levels was really really hard and it was doing my head in. When you're flying over the Rockies just look at these amazing views. You cannot get better views than this, all the beautiful mountains, the snow on top of them, even higher than the clouds, it's just absolutely crazy. Got so many videos and photos of this. Then when we was descending into Calgary, just look how snowy it was, it was absolutely crazy. Snow literally everywhere. It was a change from where I've been travelling previously and obviously Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia. I hadn't seen snow in so long. I do love snow though, so I was happy to see it. Really smooth landing, even though there was a lot of snow on the runway, it was snowing pretty heavily when we landed. Just a little video of us walking off the aircraft. Really spacious aircraft to be honest for a little plane. 
you can just tell everything's lovely and new. I do like flying on a new aircraft. I wish I'd have been sat in premium economy that I've never been in premium economy before. When you land in Calgary, you're greeted by this beautiful Canadian sign, which is really, really cool. This is a really, really nice airport. Loads of different artwork and designs inside, as you can see here. I love this waterfall just on the left. This wasn't actually in the domestic arrivals. This was the international arrivals, this bit. Just some more nice artwork here. I think that was a bench or something like that. And then you've got the Rocky Mountains on this little wall, which is really, really nice.